Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the Nullish Coalescing Operator within JavaScript. Okay, so this one right here works in a very similar fashion to the logical OR, but it's just a tad more strict. Okay, so um, we're going to be firstly having a look at a problem which we are then going to solve using this new operator. Okay, so um, as we can see right here I've got this function which gets user defined settings for some sort of game. So these settings right here, let's pretend they are entered by the user in some sort of form. So the user has said they want a difficulty of easy, okay, and optionally they can also provide a starting cash amount. In this case, they did not provide a starting cash amount. Okay, so on line seven, I'm basically saying, you know what, if they have provided a starting cash amount, we're going to use it. Otherwise, let's go to a default of 500. I'm then logging out the default, or sorry, I'm logging out the cash amount. Okay, so of course, in this case, we get 500 right there because, of course, this logical or is basically saying if this right here is falsy, then we're going to default to the right side this 500. Okay, so this works perfectly fine. If I was to provide a starting cash amount, so for example, something like this, and then say 2,000, in this case, or 20,000, um, in this case, of course, right now, uh, we get 20,000 in the console because, of course, they have provided a non falsy value here for starting cash. Okay, so the problem with this design is if I was to make this zero, okay, we can see it is now 500, right? So zero is a perfectly valid amount of money to start a game with, okay? Um, but of course here, it's skipping to 500 because zero counts as a falsy value. So we're saying, okay, is this falsy? Yes, it is, it's zero, um, so go to 500. So how do we get around this problem? Well, we could use a ternary operator. We could say, for example, um, essentially, if starting cash is undefined, so if it was not provided, then we can say 500. Otherwise, let's go to the actual starting cash amount um, right there. So this right here works. As we can see, we get zero in the console. Um, however, it is quite long to write out and it's got duplicated values here. We have starting cash here and we have starting cash here. So how can we shorten this? Let's go back to our logical or, and we're going to be changing these two pipes to be instead two question marks. And this right here is the uh, nullish coalescing operator. It checks if this value right here, the left side, is null or undefined. If it is, then we're going to go to our 500 default. So now, saving this and refreshing, we get the exact same result of zero, and it's working perfectly fine because, of course, we've defined zero right there. Now, what if I was to, for example, not provide zero? Now we get 500. Okay, so of course, in this case, starting cache is undefined, so of course, we go to 500 right there. Also, let's make starting cache null, and we get the exact same result because this checks for null or undefined. Let's now make it 2000, and of course we get 2000 right there. So basically, that is how the nullish coalescing operator works. Now, what about compatibility? Well, it's compatible in Node.js version 14, and in the browser, it's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, what do you call it? A little bit unsupported. Well, as we can see here, we have Edge, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, and iOS Safari. However, Currently, as of 2020 uh, June, we have no support for Opera Mobile, Firefox for Android, or Samsung Internet, and a few more. So you probably want to, you know, only use this on the server side or in transpiled uh, documents. Um, just keep that in mind. But it can definitely come in handy when you want to do something like this um, to default your values to certain things. Okay, and. That right there is the Nullish Coalescing Operator in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.